One week into training, Jackson will stay getting ready for the 2012 soccer season. Our ladies opening up here at home on Friday the 17th at 7 p.m. against Middle Tennessee State. Coach Carlson, one week going by. I know you're glad to have that one week out of the way, but so far, are you happy with what you've seen? Yeah, very happy. Um, I mean, these kids came in fit, and that's a credit to the strength and conditioning staff for working with 22 out of the 24 players over July. Um, we had the most players we've had in the history since I've been here uh, pass the required fitness tests. And so they are, they are getting fit. Uh, the game fitness part of the game is, is what needs a little bit of polishing. Uh, but so far, you know, our emphasis has been on offense um, because creating goals and scoring goals last year was such an issue. So we've really pushed that mentality in the beginning of this process. And we've just seen a lot of hopeful things. Um, you know, and just right now, it's, it's kind of now down to like little small little details. And I think we're going to get to a point in another week where we're going to be very hungry for that first game just to see where we are after this process. So. Coming back in shape, do you attribute that to experience? The fact you've got nine seniors, did that play a part in the fact that most of them were here and sure. could work out? Well, yeah, nine seniors. I mean, after four years, hopefully they've had gotten it figured out. And um, But then we also have seven sophomores coming back. So with the large returning class, I think that that's provided us uh, a quality of education uh, where these kids know what's expected. They've embraced the system. Uh, they know what it's all about. They know what they have to do. And, you know, the focus is the, they're coming in with the right mentality, which this, this group really has done a great job. And I think the leadership in this senior class already has stepped up and done a great job. And they've really um, set the tone by example as far as what is expected and what they want to accomplish in their last season. Middle Tennessee State, do you start working on them a little bit now? as you get ready for that first game, or do you still just concentrate on working on Jacksonville State? Going through? Well, I think what we are working on will um, attribute to what we're taking into the Middle Tennessee State game against them because we did play them last year, so we know uh, and I we know what how they play. We've played them in years past. We know what kind of style they play. We know some key players we'd have to deal with. And so we have our system in place. We know how we want to play, but we want to play to our strengths and try to use our strengths to uh, to compete against their strengths. And um, so it will play into that match, and uh, but it will give us an opportunity to correct some things and see some things prior to going in the OVC as we build through the non-conference segment. And one difference, you don't have an exhibition game this year. We don't. That mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's obviously my call because uh, I set the schedule. But I think the biggest reason is, is for the last few years I've seen this team come out against uh, Kennesaw State, which was at Kennesaw State the last two years. And they come out flying. They come out with this, this hunger and this desire to do really well. And so I took the approach this year is like, if that's what they're bringing in that first match, why not make that first match be a match that actually counts? So there is some purpose and some meaning behind it to see if we can actually set, our, set the tone of our season off to, to a good start. And it's at home. One week in the books, and again, that uh, season opener is here at the JSU soccer field on Friday, August 17th, 7 p.m. against Middle Tennessee State. Best of all, free admission. Good mm -hmm. luck. Thank you. Thank you.